basically Dota, you know, you press the button and magic, and if you pay a lot of money, gold particle effects happen on the screen. But at the end of the day, it's calculating a number, right? All right, calculate the first bird here. How many heroes are going to die? Tell uh, me now. Free dinner, you know? You know what they say? Everything tastes better when you don't have to pay for it. That's true. Ding. Might not have to pay for his first blood. Oh, nice two-man stun though. Full five oh, on big five. Illuminate. five. The Illuminate! Oh. It's five. Joe come with a massive tag team here. Bear giving chase is actually going to be forced to turn tail now as Cox himself oh, no. is going to die. Up. Bear down. And we ain't talking oh, about no. no NFL Chicago here. They never make it to the postseason. That is not going to be a very pleasant lane here. I mean, it's already not a pleasant lane. <laughs> come on. <laughs> this lane is... This lane is so bad for the for the Luna. Oh my god. Don't need to wait for the snowball. Second tech team. Second eye shard. Malphys. GP is coming. It's the tiny. Very nice cogs. We'll push back Jokum. They have the avalanche and the toss now. Oh my god, he is so tanky on the run. toss though. Run! Oh, the Scam attack. doesn't want to let you go! Oh the creeps. no, the battery assault! Oh he just reached to that tiny little arm, punched him from all the way across the lane. Nice job there, Scam. Oh, scam such a lifesaver. It's like, right there. He still might die though, unfortunately. He doesn't care if he dies here. To be fair. <laughs> and he's going back in. He's doing oh my god, this is, the two supports are just so good. Saving the game. I mean they need some help for this top lane though where Cox pops the wand charges, does have Mac rotating on through there. It's gonna be a dead lion. Oh the uphill miss, no way! Cox breaking the vision as well as they finally do get through scam, but look at this! The root just in time. The lone druid bear, it doesn't have a name, it's just spirit bear. It's going to be able to save the day. There's not even enough mana for a TP out, so Akashi dies to the mid lane Rubik Geek Fam. What in the world? They, they turn things around. Chuan will gank opposite, though. He's on to Natsumi. Scam coming back in to try and save the day, but there's just three heroes here against two. That math not really working out, just like my math wasn't at the start of the cast. Lines down bottom though. Radiant Scan coming through. Scanning. Does let Natsumi know that he's got to get Radiant the hell out of dodge. And here comes Rubik. Mac is here. Mac wants to Do fight. not lay hands on my core players. Mac get wants away. to fight. This is a level 5 enigma as Mac will now show. Jing. Jing. Chasing. Looking for the toss back. And does toss him back at least onto the Eidolons. The Telekinesis WS with the Malefist. And Swan now rotating on through. It's going to be the tree Toto. toss as Jing kills him. Natsumi. Taking his time going around the trees here is uh, gonna have to watch Mac die as he finally settles for his target on Aponio. But Jokum has returned, Skem as well, eager to try and collect the skill on Aponio. Throws the blood grenade, but won't dive the tower. I don't think that's gonna be enough damage. Natsumi is the one in trouble. I think the Illuminate oh, missed, no. and the ice yeah. shards also push him away. The urn is not gonna be enough damage as Skem from behind is only gonna get stunned up by Aponio. Just here comes the a true SCA game. Nice cogs by Skem. Into the Eidolons, though. No way out for him. He will die. What was that? Seven heroes bottom? <laughs> uh, you farm a lot faster if you actually just rush the Mjolnir. Compared to the battle for you. Does it scale better? Like, if, if you just want to focus on farming and not fighting? Is that also the move? As they are going yeah, to... Yeah, it's them. just the better item. I have no idea. Right now. Ox? Oh, you know? Uh oh. Well, you just uh -oh. used Battle Trance to kill a bear. What do you uh -oh. have now against the Man of Metal? As it's a very nice two man stomp. Finger of Death is going to be stolen. I think he fingered the bear. I think he meant to finger Skem. Well, Geek Fam, Rubik is. Uh, he has his phylactery completed. Going for his Aglims, which you strongly disapprove. You think he needs to get a, a kiting item. And let's see if he actually dies what, because what, of that. What did I? I never said anything. I just said I don't think he's going to be as impactful. I mean, just look at how quickly he goes down. Good blinding light pushes Jokum deeper into the tower. He's not there yet. <laughs> rotates up through a huge hook shot from Skem. Saves the day here. Three heroes hit. Illuminate actually almost clears Natsumi, who has to back up because he's dying to the Eidolons. Oh, yeah, that actually worked out. Yeah. And Cox, he might just get this bear black hole. You can't finger a bear, but you can black hole it or just kill the true form lone druid instead. Holy crap. They just killed everybody on, on Raiden. I mean, the Ruby has 1600 HP with Raindrop with a big wand and with the bubble, the safety bubble, and yet he's still not safe. All right, well, you know what? It's a little bit, you know, a little bit further away. He's pretty close by, especially if they can get a kill here. Scam. It's down the ward. Gets some pretty good vision here, but Jing is just dying here to the Eidolons as they do manage to take down the Tusk. Hookshot in. Scam, I don't know oh, if he meant Cottle. to catch the Coddle. 
or if the Cod will caught him because he's going to be blinded light into just a ton of damage here. Solarbind is going to be reserved now for the Bear of Cox. Slow to a crawl. 100 move speed, the minimum move speed. I, I'm actually kind of a big fan of this build right now. So is it, is it Mjolnir Ags? Mjolnir BKB Ags? Uh, yeah, Mjolnir Manta BKB. style Ags? Depends on the game. Yeah. This game... Oh, yeah, it was hippie, hippie. Wait, hold on. Scam, he, he, he needs hippie. to be a hero here, but he's so far away. And oh, the Roche, Roche is already He's dead. going down so fast. Oh, they can't quite get in there in time. It's tag team. Tag team plus troll. Yeah. Oh, the bear? Oh, the bear wants in? to fight. The bear's been hexed, though. Lots, tons of damage on the pony. They're going to try and burst him. Nice oh, job whoop. there on the fear. A telekinesis slip stuns up onto three, but Skem, he's going to miss the hook shot onto Chuan. As Akashi now out of the snowball sees Skem. He'll eat him. Ponyo dies to the bear. Natsumi taking down Couriers. That's not going to help too much. What's going on here? This Enigma able to TP away. Jing tried to catch him in the trees, but oh, no was... dice. I mean, a 500 regenerating shield sounds insane. You know, it's five. It is basically if you took all the shield bubbles in the stash and put them on one hero. Sounds crazy. And, you know, it is good. But usually you get it at like 75 minutes earliest. Oh, Cox. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. True farm. Uh-oh. His team. His team. A detour. They were they're killing someone else. Yeah. Uh, who are they killing? They were, supposed, <laughs> they were supposed to go to him. I killed WS. I mean, that's something. They popped the Eclipse for it. Trying to hold this high ground and fight. I think with, oh, with the AD. Yeah, yeah. They've got the AD oh. on the Luna. And she has a full Chandra and this Nemesis Curse. She's got a ton of damage. They just have to not get like, caught here. here. Go. Try and fight underneath the Rune. Akashi is running a in. fantastic start, but Akashi is already in. He's killed one. The Rubik? That's your mid lane. He's Rubik down. He couldn't steal shit. Oh no, Cox, he is just getting eaten alive right now by Akashi. Uh, Luna's, I think, already bailed out of this fight. TP top lane, three dead, only in exchange for the Tusk. With the shard, uh, no points. Yeah, gonna run in. Might find a good opening here. Oh, uh, but Chuan has a freaking arcane. Rune. Good toss back. That's Jing with a fantastic opportunity, but the snowball save oh, in snowball. time. She's consumed. He's going to heal them right back up, but they do get through Jokum. Akashi showing up to this fight, ready to freaking brawl Natsumi. He's on the run as Skem is going to be mana drained, drained of his life, missed the hook shot. Unfortunately for him, might have actually saved him. For now, though, Geek Fam, everyone TPing out, even the bear able to escape. Good trade, good trade. Burning time off the Sages. Interesting choice. Uh, cause Rubik, ah, the tiny bought his shot? Yeah, because Rubik got it from the Tormentor, right? So. Oh, okay, toss back. That's a good one. It's Gandalf again. They need to again. try and get ch the Chuan. He's going to die. Not too much as Willowis is going to do here. Chen, or sorry, Skem is going to be able to find a good hook shot. But there is a Telekinesis oh, back after the four stab Jokum. He's not going anywhere. That Chandra, my goodness, so punishing. Oh, no, he's going to lose the job. I can't believe it, Geek Fam. They might just be holding here. Avalanche in time, in the place. Triple kill for Natsumi. I mean, that, that, was a, that was a very, very big mistake. They might have very little choice. There's a kick, by the way. Walrus kick is online uh, for Jokum. So get ready to see some out of position oh, here we heroes. Go. Jing, how do you like it, you son of a gun? Scam, he really likes it. He wants to get in there. In fact, He's still Jing alive. is still alive, and the bear is murdering everyone. Mostly like Troll's with Luna. Dead. The troll is down. They do get through Jing. Ponyo, he's going to be next with the Glaives chasing after him. Down he goes. A one for three trade. Scam's like, toss me in. I want to fight. Oh, yeah, those are those are some bouncing glaives. Maybe maybe later tonight. We'll see. Because for now, it's still going to be perhaps a long series here. Locked in at minute 37 here. Tier 4 neutrals just starting to spawn in. But oh, most importantly, Roche is starting to spawn in. Scam. Oh, they are going to get caught here. Kakashi making the jump. Trying to just get right through this Luna. But the cog, the hook shot from Scam, saving the day. Lion finger of death. But oh, now the BKB Black, BKB, hole, Black the Luna. Hole. They're they on the Luna. Luna. Akashi, he needs more damage. But the Yule Scepter, the Yule oh, Scepter. Stop. They stopped Akashi from doing the damage. Jing, you were a bloody hero. Natsumi, he's still going to go down, however. Can they actually take this fight? Cox in true form trying to fight now. Another freaking cast of the Will of Wind. Ball. And the sleep onto Cox. Rooted down the four staff. Jing with another to have a toss oh, the here. They do get through the coddle, but hexed up and now killed off is going to be Cox. That is going to be all three cores down. Jing tried his best, and uh, I think it's going to work out pretty well for him here. At and least he's so grown past the rebellious stage. I guess so, right? Yeah. And he just uh, moved to support, but he's still trying to play carry. 
I mean, it's a good mindset sometimes, you know, trying to carry the game as a support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree. And it, and I love him as a player. Oh, they stole oh, Walrus oh. Kick. I don't believe it. Blink back. back. Oh, he got the room in. Scam. He needs to get in there. The hook shot. It's going to be finally able to cancel, but they've already lost Mac. But now Natsumi is on the leash. Cheese consumed by Jokum. That's a tasty fondue, he says, as he's still alive. But he's lost WS. He's lost the Lion. And oh my goodness, that Chondra hit. They're about to lose Akashi as well. Rooted in place and killed off. They will be able to get through that Aegis. And this will is is not going to do anything. Snowball, it's not oh, he the He blinked it. He's he blinked the load up. Oh no! He's crazy. With the hurricane plank, Natsumi. He might actually go down to the vessel, and he is Chuan chasing oh, him down. Back. Instant buyback as Troll lifted again by the Yule Scepter of Jin, continuing to save the day. Satanic after him. Cox He's still not alive. Dying. Oh, Natsumi, be careful. Just TP's in. There's the Conjure hit we needed. Chuan running for his life as he is the lone survivor from this fight. Tossing Natsumi in is Jing. They caught a glimpse of him, but he does have this ninja gear. So he's off and away. What Holy a legendary crap. fight. And then the bear also is holding a ninja Why gear. Why does he have a magic wand? He should have another way back. <laughs> oh, the initiation Natsumi. He's going to be able to get off the battle trans immediately. Finger of comes death. Enigma. On Natsumi. Enigma coming in for the black hole. BKB onto two scams. No buyback on your Luna. Scam, where are you? We need you, Scam. That is a dieback on One Natsumi. Akashi on top of the clockwork as the second black hole holding down Cox. They are going to start barreling down this mid lane now, our talent as Geek Fam get caught off guard. They try and find the quick kill there onto the Troll Warlord. And Jing, Jing has a buyback. Can conjure some magic. Jing has a buyback. He can potentially toss someone way too deep in, but this is going to be at least Megas. Juan, he's learned his lesson. He's not standing on the high ground anymore, Winter. Yep. Gandalf learned his lesson. That the troll the power alone. Right, there they go. There they go. The toss back in. Snowball. They've kicked in Cox, nope. though. They've kicked in the bear. Snowball not doing much here. Jing is in trouble, but he's going to be able to get out alive successfully for now. If there's going to be the battle chance, nice job cutting this one out with the Cogs. Look at him uselessly Jing's being pushed alive. back. They are all still alive. Bottom barracks are still alive. Mid racks have fallen. Careful here, Jing. Don't want to lose that life for free, even if you do have the dieback. That is the last fortify that Geek Fam have for now for five minutes, potentially for the rest oh, of the game. The there's going to be the Kick. They have Mac. They need to try and save him, but he's just going to go down too quickly. Jing, he gets swept up there as well, but he does have buyback. Luna, back in 35 seconds, but it looks like Winter, she will respawn in a world without any of her barracks if she gets to respawn at all. Talon, they make the call. They want to go for the Megas. It's not necessarily going to be the, the nail in the coffin here. We'll make things much more difficult here for Geek Fan, but you can just see how cautiously Talon are playing this one. I say that as Chuan runs up to the high ground. Ten seconds. There's going to be the Abyssal Blade. They're actually trying to force a fight right now, but it's so close to the Luna respawning Cox. Cox, no, not like this. The Magic Wand. Is that going to make the difference here? He's still alive. He gets the heal up as well. The Magic Wand. Winter, you were wrong again. He doesn't need another Wraith Band. He needs the Magic Wand, uh, but he also needs his Luna to help him. Because Akashi, he's going to start eating him alive. Joke him oh, in his dying breath. Luna's gets the in. Walrus kick out. Hexed up as well. They don't have an Earth Spike quite yet. And Natsumi now pops the BKB. Jing doing what he can, but he actually tosses Akashi away. And he's going to be trapped underneath the Will of Wisp now. Eclipse is just not doing enough. The BKB has worn off. Tusky's going to buy back. Hexed Getting up. back in here, but G Natsumi, he knows this one's over. The GG well played is called Geek Fam. They missed their opportunity to mount a comeback in game number one. And and you you farm very, very slow compared to the L. Ooh, I like this hero. Yo, I like this hero too. He destroys a tank. I... So what, you're looking at 30% damage reduction, which is basically, I don't know, I guess it cuts through Vengeance Aura. Oh, they're, they're both fighting here. Onyo losing this fight though, will lose his life and that is first blood. Yeah, he's the one that will play for his game, his own game. Like TA, you don't really want to move around too much. It's more about hitting your own item times with the blink. That's so. Well, nice job here. Ponyo was ready in position to try and rotate on dawn. in. As in comes the Dawnbreaker, the stun onto two. Ember Spirit has a remnant back. Oh, but there's so much damage here with all of a sudden four heroes in the lane. Fantastic job there by Ponyo waiting in the wings. He, I think he scouted Jing there with the Sentry Ward placement. Jokum nearly dying to the creeps. Yeah, not bad, right? That's Ember's way back into this game. Easily removed. 
Lots of money for him too, my goodness. They are going to try and defend this. This time they know that there's no Solar Guardian blood grenade thrown through the Twin Gate. Comes the Underlord. Chuan has another stack here of <laughs> the Refract. That's funny. Cox gets the kill and immediately is back top. Really good usage there. As Jing will go ahead back through the Twin Gate where there's a Song of the Siren. And now he's not going to bother with no Twin Gate because he has a Fiend's Gate for Cox. Looking for this quick pick up onto WS out from the Song. They find one and maybe even a second here as Finger of Death is ready. Are we going to secure the kill with it? No, we are not. We're going to save that finger for another day. See him up here. Skem wants to be aggressive. Has only the Mana Drain. Now remember, you can swap out of the Mana Drain channel as uh, you can see Skem avoiding a lot of that damage and eventually he's going to go down. Akasha, he blinked in for this. Uh, I don't think he saw that Fiend's Gate necessarily, but he knew he had the backing of the Dawnbreaker who's not going to find anything on the stun and in fact gets held down by that Pit of Malice a bit longer. Akashi broken and now killed off as Natsumi. He was baiting the whole time. Takes down two in exchange for the Lion. That's a trade Skem craved for. He's, he's still very weak, you know, as they out without ulti. He doesn't have much armor. Swap, swap out, Jing. Oh, trying to scurry through his own tree and the stun just in the nick of time. I hardly believe it. Jing oh, is going to be able drain. to live. Now the mana drain, Juan, out of mana. Finger of death does pop the wand charge. He's going to have another refraction here in a few more seconds, but Natsumi, he's in on him. They get the kill. Max, somehow he's still alive as well. Another the stun. flame guard keeps him topped up as Skem continuing to just be even more and more obnoxious. A two for one. It is your TA that you lost. I mean, that doesn't feel great, but it's also pretty nice. And in fact, they're going to go for more now. Cox was ready for this, though. The Shivas onto three. They don't have a Song of the Siren. They didn't even have a Manta-style Pit of Malice doing whatever it can, but it's measly 25 or whatever damage per root is not going to change the outcome here. Mac, I mean, Respawn is getting more aggressive. There's another Blink ready on the Alk, but he's not going to go in. All right. Three minutes, uh, 25 minutes, 30 times. Uh, minute 30, probably. They're gonna need like so much more items. They're gonna try to. Smoke. That was so fast with the minus armor. I don't really think they want to do this, but they are gonna look to commit. They should at least be able to get through Jokum, but that is an LC until the swap on out. Now Skem actually in a bit more trouble. He couldn't get it off the mana drain. It was the cooldown just wasn't there for it. Natsumi, he has a song of the siren. He might have to pop it immediately to try and bail out of this fight. But actually, Cox, that's a huge pit of mouse now onto three. Song of the siren will hold back Chuan, Akashi, and WS. As Cox through the Fiend's Gate, he goes. That's in the fountain, so I don't think Talon would want to be going through that one. Akashi burned of his mana, is going to be forced to stand back. A one for two trade. I do just keep the Veil and not don't get the Shivas. I guess maybe that. Veil and the Shivas are uh, probably stacked. Careful. And that's why. Akashi does stun himself underneath the tier one tower. Remember, he does not have the Aegis here, but he does have the spell for himself stuck inside the Pit of Malice now. Great bushwhack, but they have now the Solar Guardian joining the fight is WS. That hits a big old reset button, but Geek Fam, honestly, they haven't really used all that much, and they're still continuing to waste spells on we're on the side of Talon. Ponyo still alive for now as the lasso prevents at least the Finger of Death from coming out. That's going to force the Song of the Siren. Mac is burning down here to all this magic damage. That's a huge sleight of face onto all five heroes. Another Pit of Malice. Man Scam, the three-man mana drain. He stands his ground and sucks them dry. Cox now on the mega kill streak as he throws down the Pit of Malice, hopeful to try and catch Akashi. But Talon, they have to bail out of this fight. So am I correct to say that if you have Underlord with Atrophy or uh, and Crimson Guard, it's better off for you to just build raw HP if you're his teammate? Ooh, Scam, Scam, trying to get out of here. Down he goes. I think it depends how much minus armor you have to give you the short end of that question. Ponyo swaps, but it's stuck inside the Pit of Malice. There's going to be an instant buyback. What are they looking for here, though? Lion, he TPs to the Tier 3 tower. Maybe thinking this fight was going to go a bit longer. Oh, they need to try and extend a it a bit more. Akashi. As the Run Aegis with has been reclaimed, the blink away just in the nick of time. I frequently... Bad Rider, he's coming in. Check out this ward. I don't want to disrupt this you. This is a great ward I here. I don't want to disrupt you. Joke Joke break. They see him now. In. Into the Pit of Malice. He, he goes. Ponyo waiting for the swap out. We'll find Stop. it. Careful for Chuan. Trying to nuke through one, but not to me. Adol avoids the Mel Strike. Look at this damage onto Akashi. There's no save for him. The swap was for the Bat Rider, and your Alchemist is dead. He's out of the fight. No Solar Guardian here either for WS as he HP. is running for their life. Ooh, Pit of Malice so does catch him. Radius, he comes like, back rooted here, actually. That's because no one got to do any damage. No one got to do a single thing. It was basically defensive abilities cast. Chuan missed his Melt Strike because of the Manta style or maybe the Mirror Image. No one did any damage. 
Oh, uh, and they catch Jokum a second time. This time, there is no swamp for him as Ponyo is dead. Geek Fan. Yes, buyback. This is a very serious Alex push. Alex does have buyback, and he's got the chemical rage I mean, ready. The team with Aegis is running away. Can you believe They that? used everything, though. They don't have BKB They on WS. They don't have BKB on Akashi. They don't have Gar uh, Solar Guardian. They don't have the top lane of Barracks anymore. That math is pretty easy to me. If you didn't like the, out the, the armor math, hopefully you can follow this one. Pretty easy. If there was anyone there, Mac checking for this top camp doesn't find anything as the smoke's now breaking. Jokum. Jokum has the blink. Oh, they didn't like what he saw there, especially with Mac showing. He Lotus. wants to take a tasty Mac, a good silence on the cock. He actually doesn't have a dispel for himself, and now that is going to be a dead Mac, but he buys back instantly into this fight. The triple drain with the guard buff. How can you kill him? Oh, oh, uh, you can kill him like that. All that right, that, he's that dead. was pretty fast. Oh my god, oh my god, a cock. Oh, no. oh my god, oh my god, what is this attack speed? It's the blood taunt. Holy moly, they're gonna try and take this fight? Are you kidding me after what you just saw? Have you not had enough here? Mac, Blade my elective, that's not changing anything here. Natsumi, he's gonna be next to go down as Akashi just, uh, he just ate him. So much for our math calculation that Ooh. Daya is gonna All that math with is damage issues. I mean, you just if, you're, if you're stunned, you need your team to, to be fair, 10 auto attacks dealing 450 damage this late in the game, that's not a lot. That's what, 50 damage a hit? What? The L did 7 point. Yeah, yeah, but look at look at how the Ember died. I mean, they're ending the game here. It doesn't matter. I mean, hey, if it's enough to kill... If it's enough to win the game, clearly it's enough, right? That's what talent I think in here anyway. And with all this minus armor, AC onto the building, Fidesso onto the building, the guard buff, that's going to help out a bit, right? Buildings can receive pipe and guard, but I just don't know if it's going to make a difference here. BKBs are going to be ready to go, so it's not like they can just use the Song of the Siren either, and the Trap Silence preventing the Mana Drain. Down goes the Lion. These heroes, they don't have buyback. They're all on cooldown. Cox doing whatever he can at long last. They actually reflect the Five sun seconds, here. Not Three not. seconds. BKBs active. Throne going down, and for the second time here, Geek Fam will lose the game in this series, in this best of five. They got caught up doing the math. They didn't realize million auto attacks a second is going to go right through him. Cut through him like a knife through butter. <laughs> Starting items here for him quickly. I mean, he's already queued everything up. He knows what he wants. He did, wasn't underneath the tower for the protection aura. My God. I mean, even it hurts on the Luna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, first blood's down bottom. No, it's off. It was definitely going to be top. So much better. Shout out to you for finally getting a new mic. Luna is going to be able to escape here. There's a fresh warrior. I think Jinx sees him. Just trying to be a bit sneaky. Ooh, Frostbite's a really good uh, spell to steal here as Akashi. Ooh, miss on the pushwhack. But they do have now the Rubik connecting. Yes, Eclipse. Right. He does have Eclipse, but it's a level 2 Lucid Beam with four enemy heroes here. He is not going to let loose. Doesn't even find himself a stun, but now Chuan. Oh, comes my Ardell. goodness. The Keen Folk. The return. The revenge of the Keen oh, Folk. No, Mac is so tanky. Jing, in fact, is going to be able to escape. And that leaves... Where is the technology, Richie? That leaves Where? Scam behind Scam. Trying to run away. Oh, uh, he's got a level one in the heal. Space created, though, honestly. I mean, he is 100% certified dead, but so much space there. What is the mechanic called? Let's push back. Which one? Deafening Blast. On what? Not to me. Shot oh, bot lane. Ooh, no, he got Spear to the tower, so he's not taking Arena of Blood damage, and he's going to be able to Shadow Step himself away. That was Eclipse used as well. And he's actually on top of the sniper. Can they actually turn this into a kill? They still have the stolen frostbite. So Chuan, the keen folk, will die, but Natsumi. Oh, he stayed in a bad position here in the middle of the river. He still ends up dying, but that's a lot of money here for Mac. Almost 400 gold. You can dig in creeps to basically get a free heal. Pretty, I mean, look, I, it makes sense. I, I see why he's building it. Nice dodge here from Akashi. That's a unorthodox path to take through the trees. Unfortunately, he's going to end up back on the beaten trail and will be beaten to death now. Really good jump. In fact, they're looking for another as I believe they stunned up Jokum uh, with the Savage Roar. In comes more damage, though, as Jokum has got himself the Hattis. 
Now from the high ground. Uh-oh. Cardell, he's back. He's in his sniper tower as well. Does not have assassinate yet, but eager to show up and find a couple more kills. As Mac, yeah, trying to TP away in front of the Mars. That's always how that one's going to turn out. Jing as well is fine. They had a lasso, but didn't have the range, didn't have the move speed for him. You want the damage, right? Basically here, stats. I guess the, the range also increasing, but you're a Rubik, so you don't really need it. Skem. Okay, walking into the freezing field. The spear confirms the kill as Chuan is going to be able to pick him off from range. We haven't really talked about this Luna like at all this game, have we? Kind of just casually been farming up. Mask of Madness into the Manta style. BKB next. Probably we'll see the Double Butterfly. Scan. Shard. You know, I, I think her build is pretty clear on out from here. And uh, Sniper going for the Mage Slayer and the Dragon Lance. So two items that do allow him to kind of increase the distance, perhaps live a bit longer as a bit isolated here and all by himself is WS. The miss on that sharpshooter is Blade Mount active now, pulling him into his death. Not even the Glimmer Cape could keep him alive there. Oh my god, but the acorn shot cleaning up WS. That is something else. It's definitely not, uh, not the type of game you want to see on, on the mid Rubik right now. And Geek Fam, they have to be very, very cautious in the next couple of moments. Talon, they're coming for them. Careful, Jokum. He's Here got Blink, and he finds the Rubik. Jing is not going to be able to find a stun. I think actually he did with the Acorn Shot Tree being climbed, but Rubik already dead. Jing dies in the arena, and Skem, yeah, underneath the Tier 2 Tower, you are not safe. Ponyo actually kind of was dying to the Alpha Wolf, and now the Tier 2 Tower, but has that mech to keep himself healthy. Fantastic fight here from Talon Esports as they take a 6k net worth lead. Winter, game number three. The upset that we've had so far, the drafts that we've had so far from Geek Fam. Talon may prove to be the one team that Geek Fam just cannot crack. Very, very crucial part of uh, the Dyer lineup. He's been doing uh, a lot of good things, you know, catching out the Rubik, catching out the, the Squirrel, the Edge. I think they're going to try and take a, a fight around this high ground here. Poppy Stormcrafter breaks the smoke, Ponyo. Trying to hit this D ward here at the start of the fight. That's going to be another shadow step on in. It's actually the telekinesis All this time. Lift. They lift up Jokum, preventing the flaming lasso immediately. But this disarm into the arena now. Out oh, of the spectre. Arena. She's completely out of mana. Mac, what can he make happen here? He stole Flame Break. He can't do anything, especially against the BKBs. Natsumi, down he goes. Luna is going to be stunned up here by the Savage Roar. Cox doing his best. And it, honestly, it was a good fight here. But they're just going to be outmatched. They have a solution for everything. Only the Maiden ends up dying. The Solar Crest keeping Akashi alive as the creep started beating down into him. But Winter, this is... It's just... It's just... It feels like they're being outplayed. Hoggling the boat wall every time he goes yep. in. So he doesn't get any good spells. I mean, Spear, I think, would be the best spell to receive there is not Sumi. Ooh, maybe actually WS is over extended. I'm not so sure though. There's a couple of heroes nearby. So they are going to make a play on him. The Dagon is some really solid damage. BKB active. Natsumi trying to just kill him off. But Natsumi, Natsumi, you don't have BKB. He's just dying to the freezing field. But now out comes Max freezing field, which is going to be interrupted by the damage of Akashi. There's loosened beams. It's just too much damage. Natsumi dies. The sharpshooter on its way to recreate Bambi here. Talon, they only lose the Maiden. They still have this Aegis. You can never count out C Dota, but Eek Fam, they've been against the wall here at least once this bad in this series in game one with the Rubik mid. This time they gave themselves a Spectre carry. Trying to get this match of style online. She I think the next best thing they can do is hold a high ground, put a ward there across the high ground and just try to take a fight from there. Oh no, not Sumi. Oh, no. Lasso to back, the they smoke the play from Talon. Oh wow, he's already dead, doesn't that buyback for a full minute? He is down for the count, only one hero has buyback on the side. A kick fam, and it's Jing, but he's trapped inside the arena of blood now with Cox, who gets off the BKP. The Savage Roar allows him to at least run the hell away, but he's already lost another hero. GG is called! It's over, Talon! GG. They've done it. They've won the Birmingham qualifiers. They are going to be going over to the UK. Congrats to them! Congratulations to Talon, you know, with a new roster this season. And once again, back to major event. Uh, back to Birmingham and it's well played, you know, well deserved, you know.